hey, what's happening, you guys? This is your boy, Credit D. Will, your everyday credit dad. Welcome to the channel, and thank you guys for tuning in. Today, man, I got a super dope video for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at Machine and how to do different transition effects, as well as how to do those little stop effects or beat stop effects inside of Machine. I'm gonna tell y'all the easiest way that I found out how to do it, so by the end of this video, you should have a better idea of how to di uh, transition to different sections inside of Machine and um, arrange a little bit better inside the machine um software so without further ado y'all know what time it is let's dive in and let's get creative All right, you guys, so welcome back. Hey, if this is your first time visiting this channel, then please consider hitting that thumbs up. And if you like this content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and stay up to date. But all right, you guys, so as you can see, I got an instance of Machine 2 software pulled up here. We're gonna be taking a look at how to add these transitions. These, you, you notice right here, I have on my F1 group. I have transitions, I have hits, and I got like my beat tag and everything like that. But anyway, so the transitions that I'm talking about are those sweeps, those uh, the hits, those impacts, and all that other good stuff. And these beat stops right here. As you can see over here, I have um, little sections of these clips missing. I'm going to show you guys how to take this and convert all of these to clips because that's the best way to do it. Inside a machine, when you first start arranging, it'll default to patterns. I wish that Native Instruments would default to clips because clips are a lot more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They are a lot more, I guess, like fluid. They're a lot more, um, you can just do more with clips. So, uh, all right, so let me go ahead and start this beat so you guys can hear what I'm talking about, specifically this transition and specifically this dropout right here. So let's take a listen. A little lo-fi chill beat that I made. Nothing too crazy. That transition was kind of low, so I'm gonna play it from here. And you got the beat stop right here. And you see that that transition right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna delete all of these. Delete, delete, delete all of you little people. Boom. And I'm gonna go back over here to uh, ideas view, and we're just gonna start building this beat. And um, as you can see, I have mine already labeled. But if you just start arranging, yours won't be labeled like this. This is different sections of my beat or different scenes. Um, a scene is nothing more than just a section of your beat. So it transitioned from here to here to here to here. Just how the flow of your beat. So you have one scene, you can have two scenes, you have as many ever scenes you want. So check out my video on arranging. It's going to be linked in the description somewhere so you guys can check that out. Uh, quick rundown. All right. So boom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over here on the machine plus and I'm, I'm going to just uh, do a quick arrangement here. So I got intro. Let me make sure that went. Boom. Okay. Yeah. So that, that did went. All right. So boom, we got a quick arrangement. All right. So boom, I'm going to play this really quick and you're going to notice just how everything just, uh, just bleeds right into another one. All right, so that's fine and dandy, but what I want to do is I want to come over here and I convert all of these to clips right off the back. Why? Because clips give you the most freedom and just the most versa versatility. That's the word that I was looking for, versatility. So come over here, convert these to clips. That's the first thing that I do. Boom. When I get done adding my initial, I guess, arrangement, I'll convert them all to clips. Boom. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here. 
I already have my transitions. I have a um, group just a, a group that I label always. I always have a group of just transitions already ready. So the reason why I converted these to clips. Now, when I come over here and double press on here, uh, this is automatically a clip. I can extend this, make it small, and it's going to go based off of the grid value right here that I have set. So I got this set, boom, boom, boom. And when I move it, it moves based off of the grid value. So if I had one bar, it would only move one bar like that. That's very important, right? So the reason why I convert these to clips, because when I come over here and I double click on here, um, typically whenever you drag and drop your transitions, like for example, I'll come over here to, let's go to semantics. And let's go to just any pack melody. No, we're not going to go to melody pack. Uh, where are you at? Let me find some transitions. Vocal. Nope. No, do, 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 do. Let's go to Viper. Viper is a pretty good kit with some transitions in it. Oh, where are you at? Transitions. Vocal one. Melodic serpent. Low five. Let's go there. Let's go to effects. Let's go to various. Oh, that's not that cool. All right, but anyway, so I got I got these loaded up here. Typically, when you load them up, it'll automatically be on sampler. Boom. So what you got to do is you got to come over here and change it from sampler to audio. Bow. So you see how when I change it to audio, it switched over. So I'm going to scratch this out. Now, as long as I scratch it out, you see how I scratched it out over here? It just repeats itself. So we want to just come right here. The reason why we want these clips uh, uh, converted to clips is because now I can just put that right there and it automatically uh, be lined up to exactly where I want it at. And the reason why I converted this to audio is because it syncs to the tempo. So, for example, if I come right here and I play this out now. So I'm going to take this off. I got some reverb on it, but we're going to take the reverb off. It's not a hard, hard transition, but. So, and that's how you add those buildups and transitions. So, but I want to actually add something else just to on that first note right here to make it hit. So I'll come right here, double click on hits. And all you got to do is just come over here to whatever. I got these different hits right here. And I can just add it on the first one. Now for these hits, I typically uh, keep it on a sampler because it's on that first uh, uh, on the one. So let's go over here. Let's change this to one eighth. Boom. And I can just shorten this. So it's on the actual first beat. Boom. Don't really don't really have to do this, but I just like to shorten it. Now I come over here and add this too. All right, so now that I got that, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to come over here. Now, if I wanted to add this transition to a separate part of the beat, another part of the beat, just hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag it over. So this is the beauty of clips. So as soon as I drag it over, it creates another um, another instance of that, that uh, clip right there. So you hold down Alt and then you drag it over, and then this, is transi this transition will be over in this section as well. Now, the reason why I said I love clips is because now I can come over here and I can drop the beat out. So anything that I do on these clips right here, it won't affect this clip over here. It's just going to drop the beat out right here. So I can come right here. Boom. And is this the hook? I don't know what that if it's the hook or not, but we don't care. So now that I got this, um, this, this part of the beat taken out, I can even do it right here. Come right here and drop the beat out. Or I can come back over here and I can take some stuff out of the beat right here. Boom. And it's just like it gives you so much freedom utilizing clips. So clips is the secret in order how in order to um in order to to kind of transitions and add your, your buildups and your drops and all that stuff. I use clips in order to do that. So now listen to this part right here. 
So I dragged this transition over, boom. And I also took the, the beat out right here. I can actually come back and bring it back a little bit. And it automatically keeps what I already had there. So see, if I come back, it's taking it out. But then if I want to bring it back a little bit, boom, right there. So you can, man, clips are just like the best thing to happen to machines since machine starting they need to they're getting closer to me that it feels like they're with clips it's kind of like this was their attempt to kind of go with the traditional doll where you can control the different wave files and all the other stuff so this is kind of our way of controlling like the the whole group i guess you would say so so this is the transition this is the transition and this is the drum matter of fact and i'm gonna take this over here and I'm going to alt and drag this over. And we're just going to add another thing right there. So I can even come over here and say, I like that. So we're going to add that to it too. So, And mind you, the fact that I added that right there is totally different from this one. So this clip right here, boom, this clip is totally different from this clip. So I can add whatever transition I want at this clip right here or whatever sounds I want on this clip right here. And it won't affect this clip back here. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna transition over here to I think I got the hook right here. So, and then we're gonna come back, add that. Uh oh, boom, boom, boom. Undo, Alt. Uh oh, Control Z. Hold down Alt. Drag this back over here and go over to where this clip is at and we're gonna add that all boom and it should transition i think this is the hook right here boom yep so that's spot on and if I wanted to, if I didn't want it that long, I can come over here and take it and it'll start by right here. So that's that, boom. And that's pretty much it. That's how you actually add transitions. What I like to do is I like to go in here and i'll add automation and um do different transitions effects but you can check out my video on how to do automation and busing and i'll show you guys in that video i show you guys how to actually utilize machine to to uh do different transition effects utilizing the automation features inside a machine and these perform x um uh that i have assigned right here so i'll post a link in the description to that as well so you guys can check out that video but this was a pretty short video i just wanted to show you guys how to do those transitions because people keep asking me yo d how do you actually transition to another scene so that's how you transition to another scene uh utilize clips clips are awesome they're, they're, they're versatile. They allow for a little bit more flexibility inside a machine than the traditional patterns. Start off with arranging your beat, uh, utilizing the patterns, but then you can go and convert those pattern to clips and that gives you a lot more freedom when you wanna move stuff around and take stuff out and actually um, add different clips in different sections. So if you guys found value in this video, then please consider hitting that thumbs up again and hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Um, yeah, so that was it. You guys be awesome, be creative, and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you wanna do in life. Till next time, deuces. Bye.